Coach Brett Brown says, let's talk again in a week's time. The loss to the Tigers was the start of a stretch that will see the Sixers play four times in seven days, including games at the Magic and in Perth. Now, before winning at Adelaide last night, the Tigers had lost six straight, their longest skid of the 90s. The defending champs need to go four and two in their last six to secure a playoff berth. Also back in the hunt is Townsville, which blasted the Tigers Friday night behind Derek Rucker's 44 points. It was only the Suns' second win in Melbourne since they started league play in 93, and they're 18-2 and two overall in that city. Now, the Brisbane Bullets look better and a whole lot deeper with Ben Thompson in the backcourt. Thompson played strongly as a rookie last season, but didn't re-sign with the Bullets in 98. He joined the team for back-to-back -back road wins at Newcastle and Canberra last weekend and averaged 10 points on 47% shooting. And even better news for the Bullets, Leroy Loggins, he's not far away. That's all for this week, Rob. Back to you. Good on you, Andrew. Thanks very much. Um, thanks very much. On you, makes it harder. Uh, career highlights, uh, playing in the NBA last year with the 76ers, even though we didn't win too many games, is a highlight. And uh, also attending three Olympics and uh, two NBA championships. All-time favourite film would probably be um, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective with uh, Jim Carrey. I uh, like a bit of the uh, slapstick comedy. Goals for this season. Um, hopefully try to uh, duplicate what we did last year with the Tigers and, and go through and win the championship. But uh, it's going to be a very difficult ask, but uh, we think we can do it. A favourite drink is a nice tall glass of warm water because it uh, gets into your system a lot better. It's better for you. It's uh, Hoag's from a long, long way back and uh, that's all anybody calls me. They don't call me Mark, so uh, on the court uh, everyone calls me Hoag's. <laughs> Favourite holiday destination probably be the Gold Coast because my parents live there and uh, it's nice to catch up with them. Uh, other sports that I play, a little bit of tennis, strangely enough, uh, having a tennis court in the backyard and uh, I like to play a little bit of golf, but uh, with the basketball it's pretty busy so I uh, haven't played either lately. you're enjoying our but without the excitement from the king's end minnis gets the steal will he get another two no an assist no sapwell to brogan Ooh. it's party time at the entertainment center well, what a great effort from adelaide they've come out after getting belted by uh, melbourne tigers on saturday night as stephen white nails one going to his left in the three-point area adelaide coming out last night having to travel here this morning to play in an early game and uh, have done very, very well. Minnis! Whoa! He is hot. He's up to nine points. He's played about two minutes. So if you multiply that over the course of a 48-minute game, he's doing well and so is this man, Brad Rosen. Figuring on the stats sheet with assists and now a couple of points as well. And it's 138 to 112, 250 points. The aggregate, as you see, Rosen, he's quick on the drive. Off to the line now, a 74% free throw shooter. And he misses that. McGregor tried the tip. Couldn't get it, but Kings will get it back. As I mentioned earlier, Tigers and the Magic, our feature match for broadcast here on ABC TV, live around Australia next Sunday from four. Heel for three. Can't get it. Brogan, the boards. Where's Scotty Ninnis? He's lurking out wide. He wants the three, but Rosen the steal. And McGregor will slam it home. Big Scotty McGregor. 
a lot of hair on that uh, on that big spider face. Only a mother would love being Mother's Day is fairly appropriate for the big fella. And four of the mums featured in the King's News newspaper here at the Entertainment Centre this afternoon, which was great to read on Mother's Day. Brogan now. The cross-court pass. Scotty, he's hot! Oh, oh Scotty Menace. Just gives a little oh, wink for Phil Smythe as he runs down the court. He's got a dozen. He is on fire. Nielsen on the spin. And that will count the foul on Brogan. That was a great move. Scotty Ninnis down the other end, just uh, doing it all for Adelaide. Nielsen getting the ball down low that time inside and does a very quick spin move. Fakes to the left. Let's watch the replay. There's the fake. Spins drop step down low. Has Brogan all over the place. Brogan has no uh, option but to push him. And Nielsen finishes off his 28th point of the night. An excellent game from him statistically. At three-quarter time as Sydney get another steal, Whitehead down the lane for two. At three-quarter time, Adelaide with 92. They're now 141. They've scored 49 this quarter. Can they make it 50? Sapwell misses, but on the second effort does a 51-point quarter. To the Adelaide 36ers. That is remarkable. Whitehead for three. There's just no defence being played here at all. Davis triggers a four on two break. Scotty again. Oh, he misses it. Too easy. Brogan. No. Brogan again. It. They're raffling it. Hello. Really, Sydney. Where is Sydney? Really? This is just extraordinary from Adelaide's oh. point of view, given the circumstances of last night's game. <laughs> Nielsen misses. Does anyone want possession? It's a cheap basket going here. Really, the fake, the behind-the-back pass. Oh, I love Showtime. Here's Heal. The coaches are cringing. Whitehead makes the two. Four and a half seconds to go. Can Scotty score again? Davis drop kicks it to Really, who beats the buzzer. Yeah, right. This has been one of the more remarkable quarters in NBL history. And at full time, Adelaide record a 26-point victory. They trailed by two at quarter time, led by four at half time, by nine at the last change, and win by 26, 147 to 121. A high-scoring game. The aggregate, the highest for the season. Adelaide comfortably post their biggest score and move to 17 wins and five losses on the season, comfortably in second place, while the Kings drop to 10 and 14 in a tie for Townsville for eighth place. The Kings will have to win four of their remaining six games if they are to make the playoffs. Brett Maher, little scorers today with 32.